Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over the early access hotfix number 11 that just came out a couple hours ago today. Now, as a Barbarian main, I'm obviously really curious to see why the Barbarian channel is on fire and why everybody isn't up in arms. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and just go over these patch notes and I'll give my thoughts and opinions on how this affects barbarians and just the game as a whole. So firstly, we have fixed an issue where the trade pop-up may not properly close. This is obviously just some kind of bug fix. Don't really care about this. But then immediately after that, we have movement speed now has a hard cap of 350. I think this was a really, really necessary change. I feel like the game has been going in a very buff heavy death ball kind of meta that relies on speed and just quick offensive attacks kind of like dive comp in overwatch if you've ever played that game so i'm glad to see that they've actually done a hard cap on this now i wouldn't be opposed to the game being faster for everyone overall but you can't have certain classes benefit from speed while others basically have to rely on other classes for that speed but you can't you can't have it to where only certain classes can benefit from the speed while others can't. It just doesn't make sense. It really makes the game not that fun to play. So I'm really glad to see they're hard capping it at 350. The quarter staff now deals 100% damage no matter which part of the quarter staff hits the opponent. I think this is a really necessary change. I think we'll start to see the quarter staff get used more now because of this change. I always thought it was really a good weapon, but the fact that it had uh, certain impact regions on it that would change the amount of damage that you would do with it i thought that was pretty dumb so i'm glad to see this changed axe specialization changed from plus five additional physical damage to plus 10 physical damage bonus um i was looking in the barbarian chat and people were saying this still just only affects the usage of axes but this is incredibly a nerf this is definitely a nerf but I already wasn't really using axes on my barbarian because I didn't think they were all that great. So this doesn't personally affect me, but if this is just a flat 10% physical damage bonus like savages where you just have to have your chest piece off and it doesn't require axes, this would be a nice perk to have now. But if it only affects axes, this is just a straight nerf and that's that's pretty bad for any axe users out there, but you know this I'm not really worried about this personally. Uh, rogues double jump slow and landing duration reduced from three seconds to two seconds. I, I don't see why they would do that. Uh, rogues were already fine with three seconds, so they just got buffed when they didn't really need it. Wizards haste duration increased from 12 to six seconds. So that is a 50% nerf to the duration. Uh, this was needed. And then I can see right below it, Wizards invisibility duration increased from five to three seconds. In my opinion, I feel like Wizard should only be allowed to self buff. I don't really like the idea that Wizard is allowed to haste and invis and ignite other players. I get that that makes them more useful as a character overall, but it's very game breaking in my opinion when you allow these abilities to <laughs> just be actively stacked with other abilities in the game so i personally would like to see wizard just only be able to self buff and not give these uh spells to other players in their group but that's just my take some people might disagree that's fine but that's just how i see it movement speed reduced from 70 percent to 65 percent of base move speed when casting with the spell book movement speed reduced from 70 percent to 65% of base move speed when casting with a crystal ball. Not really much to say there, it's just a very slight change in move speed. Now we're getting to Achilles Strike. So this is where I've been hearing a lot of the crying coming from, and honestly, that's just that's just what it is, it's crying. Um, let's go ahead and read through this, and I'm gonna give you my breakdown of what I think about it. So it says Achilles Strike's physical damage on hit reduced from 10 to zero damage. Damage taken per step decreased from 5 to 1 damage. And then also Achilles Strike slow debuff increased from 10% to 30% move speed. Okay, so... I think anyone who plays Barbarian knows Achilles Strike was basically free damage. Because a big issue with it was that it applied no matter what you hit the target with you could throw a torch at them you could hit them with your weapon you could punch them with your fist so that was the first issue in my opinion i actually don't think there was a problem with the damage 
or the damage on taking steps. I think it was a matter of the how you applied it. They should have made it so Achilles strike literally had to be applied with a weapon hit. Now, some people would say, well, Dylan, that would still leave it pretty busted. But the thing is, though, if you think about it, a lot of people were using Achilles strike as a ranged attack for the most part. They would literally use it to poke you because barbarians don't really have a lot of poke damage. So it was really good for poking players with it. Now, reading this, do I think this makes Achilles strike basically worse or, as some people have put it, useless? No, not at all. Um, you still get damage out of it, even though it's a lot lower and it's based on steps taken, but the 10% movement speed debuff to 30% movement speed debuff, you know, that is a huge thing in a Barbarian's kit. If you don't play a Barbarian as your main character, you will know that Barbarians are extremely slow most of the time either because of the weapon they have out or because they don't have enough agility, whatever it might be. Barbarians are very, very, very slow characters in game, and the only time they're moving fast is when they're buff or they're self-buffing. They have, like, little bursts of speed, and that's why people think they're so broken is because they see a buff barbarian running around killing everybody, and that's only because they're doing it in spurts. They're not consistently playing like that. Now with Achilles Strike making players 20% slower with this with this change, this is going to make Barbarians catching other players way easier now. And so in turn, you have weapons like the Felling Axe that really struggled to land hits on players because of its short range and the fact that you also move slow with it out. Imagine you land a strike with your felling axe on somebody with Achilles strike that's going to make the felling axe way better in fights like felling axe unironically just got buffed from this any two-handed weapon barbarians use just got buffed with Achilles strike uh slowing the target down even further so in a way it's like you can look at it and say you no longer get the free damage but this just helped two-handed weapons out for barbarians like substantially so i don't know i think it's a fine change it's not game breaking it, this, it doesn't make barbarians worse i think barbarians will soon realize that achilles strike is a lot more useful now both solo duo well i shouldn't say both but triple solo duo and trio it's going to be a lot more useful of a skill it's going to allow you to catch players now instead of just trying to hit them with free damage and free damage is nice but i think having an overall better slow was something the barbarian like desperately needed to close uh gaps and ranges with people and then we have Accelerando's duration decreased from 12 seconds to 8 seconds and movement speed boost decreased from 579 to 357 move speed. So that's just an overall speed nerf. Drum's move speed penalty is increased from negative 20 to negative 30 move speed. This was needed in my opinion. Francisca Axe's damage has been slightly reduced. I don't really agree with this because, again, you know, I know uh, fighters, for example, can use them if they have the uh, the perk that lets them use all types of weapons. But the Francisca Axes are probably some of the hardest throwing weapons in the game to use. Like, they don't travel very far, and they have a really weird, uh, like, projectile range. Like, they're very awkward to use. Like, cr close range, they're kind of okay to use, but, like, they're not really all that great to use. Um, so seeing the damage reduced on them, even when Axe spec was just nerfed, in these patch notes as well i don't know it makes me question that change i think the throwing axes were fine i don't think they were a problem uh bard, bard song of silence now targets all nearby targets including oneself that was definitely needed the effect radius of bards unchained harmony has been changed from 600 to 300 so that's the bard song that allows them to unlock things around them so that's good that they changed the radius on that uh bard's tranquility now heals one recoverable hp over 10 to 20 to 30 seconds that's good barge tranquility effect now only applies while resting i think that is honestly really good because that was one ability i think made bard really 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 strong uh bard's corral of clarity effects not only apply while re uh, resting so this is the, the uh, song that allows um spell casting classes to get their spells back i think that's a good change 
And then finally, here is the last Barbarian change. The animations of Horseman's Axe, Hatchet, and Viking Sword have been slightly changed. So from what I was reading, people weren't really clear on Horseman's Axe or Hatchet, but apparently Viking Sword just got a buff with its animations. It's slightly faster now. Um, I'm going to be making a separate video talking about the Horseman's Axe, the Hatchet, and the Viking Sword because I feel like it's a really hot topic of debate. Uh, for barbarian players and i have some pretty controversial opinions but even though i'm backing it up with some anecdotal evidence i also have some factual evidence that i can kind of say why i think a certain weapon is better than the other two but that seems to be all the patch notes uh to very quickly answer your question is barbarian dead in the water after these changes no i actually think barbarians are going to be excelling way better now because of the achilles strike change anyways guys if you enjoyed watching the video please give it a like a comment and leave me a subscribe you know, I'm trying to put out more high quality content for Dark and Darker, and I can always use the criticism as well, good or bad. So let me know how I'm doing, and thank you for watching.